In many European countries, there are various traditions surrounding the use of bread during the Easter holidays. Traditionally the practice of eating Easter bread or sweetened communion bread traces its origin back to Byzantium and the Orthodox Christian Church. The recipe for sweetened or honey leavened bread may date back as far as the Homeric Greek period based on anecdotal evidence from classical texts that mention this type of special food. It is also widely known that sweetened bread desserts similar to panettone were a Roman favorite. Topic: <inaudible> Bulgaria, Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, Romania. A kozenak is traditional Easter bread in Bulgaria. Kulik is a traditional Russian Easter bread. Kolosh is a traditional Czech bread made at Christmas in the shape of a ring. Usually, three rings are stacked on top of each other to represent the Holy Trinity. Ukrainian Easter bread is called paska, which is a rich, white bread decorated on the top with symbols, including crosses, flowers, braids, wheat, or other designs representing aspects of Orthodox and Eastern Catholic faith. Babka is also a Ukrainian, Polish and Belarusian bread also made at Easter. Rather than being broad and round, like paska, babka typically is tall and cylindrical, often baked in bunt-type pan. It frequently contains raisins, succade, or orangeat, and may be iced on top. It is much sweeter than paska. Babka usually is only made, like paska, to celebrate Easter Sunday and the rising of Christ. Romania and Moldova also have a traditional Easter bread called paska the term paska is Easter. In the Eastern Orthodox faith, similar to Pax in French. It is derived from the Hebrew Pesa. The Romanian Pasca bread is made with cheese and may also include fruits, nuts, or chocolate for decoration. It is usually found alongside another traditional sweet bread which Romanians make for Easter and Christmas called Kozenac. <laughs> Germany During the weeks before Easter, special Easter bread is sold in German, Osterbrot, listen. This is made with yeast dough, raisins, and almond splinters. Usually, it is cut in slices and spread with butter. People enjoy it either for breakfast or for tea time in German, Kaffee und Kuchen, literally, coffee and cake. <laughs> Netherlands The Dutch Easter bread is the so-called stole, a fruit bread with raisins and usually filled with almond paste. It is the same type of bread also eaten as a Christmas bread. Topic: <inaudible> Sardinia. In Sardinia, Italy, bread is a part of a wide social context. It is the most important food in Sardinia as well as all over Italy and the Mediterranean. Bread is a nexus of economic, political, aesthetic, social, symbolic, and health concerns. Bread is symbolic for life. A peasant proverb mentions, Chi hat pain my non morit, one who has bread never dies. The Easter holiday is one where bread brings itself into the symbolic realm. Bread is significant for religious purposes. Louisa Foy described bread in her life after she was married and for the Easter holiday. The bread was made into a cross to represent the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Since they were married, they needed to eat it together. They would share their lives now, and they must share their cross together, their life's burden as well. Bread was a product of their union, and its shared consumption reaffirmed their interdependence. From this we gather that bread also displays a message, rather than being an item purely for consumption and nutritional purposes. Two kinds of Easter bread are described in Counahan's article. One contained two points, and an egg covered with a cross. The egg and the points that recall birds in flight speak of fertility, sexuality, and procreation—basic themes in Easter and its pagan precursors. The second bread was designed to have no overall shape, but was rather baked to encircle an egg, with the initials BP put on it. The initials BP stand for Bona Pasqua or Happy Easter. Letters rather than forms express meaning. Letters are symbolic of civilization and meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Types <laughs>